That last set definitely was my most fatigued set, but I kept the brakes strict three minutes in between every round right there. So besides building up the volume, we're also building up that overall endurance, right? Because we're keeping the brakes shorter than they were last week as well. Like I said, it's gonna be a pushed focus routine today. going on YouTube you are back with the prayers back in Juniper Park on a Monday for a fresh start of the week I had a nice two-day break from Friday if you guys watched the previous video the body weight back only workout I started that routine with muscle ups I was doing three sets of six actually I did five sets of six that day and every set we kept trying to get that seventh rep wasn't working out so today start of the week the goal to start today's gonna be a push focused routine remember muscle ups are gonna be pull and push focused Last week I trained the muscle ups on my back day. Today I'm gonna to train them on my push day because again, I'm still gonna get that dip stimulus in there and the muscle ups more of a skill movement that I'm just trying to get better and better at the technique right now. So the goal today, three, maybe four sets of seven. Let's go. go guys seven on the first clip not going to try to go for eight i don't want to fail fatigue too much like i said three to four sets minimum three depending on how three go i may go for four start of the push let's go yeah look Years in, I thought I'd be on top now. I'm trying to ride the wave till you get knocked down. I can't keep falling when everybody watching, feeling like they called it. I know what I gotta do. Why am I stalling? Problems all I got since trying to turn a profit and down without options. Only way out is to be locked in, and I got this. Nothing but hope inside my pockets. Next to the keys, Cali calling me the locksmith, and I ain't chasing the same things that I used to want. And I don't care for the bullshit that people usually on. Worse for the people that choose to do me wrong So you changing with every outfit that you put on It's all an act, but how was I supposed to know? You get Academy Awards for your performance What a show it's been too long I've been waiting for my moment No more waiting for what's mine It's time to own it Yeah Cause I Alright guys, first three sets Moving really smooth So we'll go for one more set Four sets of seven That's gonna give us a total volume of 28 reps And four sets Last week we did 30 total reps and five sets. So increasing the overall volume, lowering the total amount of sets, right? Let's go, guys. And again, if you look at last week compared to this week, I think the form and the reps are actually a lot cleaner too. All right, four sets of seven today for the muscle ups. Steady making progress on them. That last set definitely was my most fatigued set, but I kept the brakes strict three minutes in between every round right there. So besides building up the volume, we're also building up that overall endurance, right? Because we're keeping the brakes shorter than they were last week as well. Like I said, it's gonna be a pushed focus routine today. So we got more work to go, let's get it. All right guys, moving on from the muscle ups. Like I said, it's all push focused work today. Now I'm gonna be doing dip negatives. Remember, I haven't been training dips due to the shoulder and elbow problem, but we're gonna get a nice stretch in the chest now holding isometrically, 20 second hold, supersetted with pushes. The pushes are gonna get the reps in. The dips right now are gonna really pre-fatigue. Again, put that, ch that chest through an eccentric hold, pump a lot of blood into it, and then we're gonna get those reps in, build up that metabolic stress. 
All right, guys, three to four sets of this as well. Twenty seconds. Forty push, guys. Alright guys, 22nd eccentric, 40 push, we do that for 3 rounds, sorry about my voice right now, a ton of pollen in the air, it's stuck in my throat, but nice again, 3 minute breaks from each round right now, we gotta make sure the ATP stores are fully recovered before going into that set, let's go. Alright guys, get into the second set of the dip hold to pushes, after that first clip, 22nd negative and 40 push, my chest, my chest got a crazy pump and a crazy stimulus right there. Now, if I was to do that same set again two more times right now with this three-minute break, I probably would be doing too much muscle damage in my chest right now. Remember, I'm in a cut. That means you're in an energy deficit. Energy deficit, regardless, is already going to be a stress on the body. The last thing you want to do is add too much stress to the body when you're in a lower calorie state because more stress on the body is just going to elevate cortisol levels. And what your body's gonna wanna do in that sense, it's gonna say, I don't need all this muscle. You're stressing me out too much. Let's strip away some of this muscle. So I'm not gonna do another 20, 40. I'm gonna drop it now to 15, 30, and then I'll probably drop it down to 10, 20. Because again, if I do two more sets of that 40 clip pushes, it's gonna cause too much muscle damage in the chest, and I'm gonna have a regression effect, right? I don't wanna stimulate the muscle to break down and not grow back stronger. And remember, when you're in a cut, the muscle's really never gonna grow back bigger or stronger, you're just trying to maintain as much muscle that you have. So doing too much, again, is counterproductive sometimes. Let's go. <laughs> I don't wanna fall, been there before, and I've seen it all. Come crashing down on me. Come crashing down. Myself. It's crazy when you lose control, realizing how much control you had Now that very same control might be holding you back It's so tricky, this life just wanna pick you apart It's so sickening, they wanna end you before you start But don't tempt me, I'm already on the edge with this shit I'm tired of hearing about the things I could eventually get I want it all and I can't be stopped, box me in but I can't be locked I level up, you don't know this, so my best ain't all I got I've been living life on repeat, living in hell, don't eat, don't sleep Go so high to become unreached, we don't die, we go unseen, ayy And there's still so much left to say Hope no matter where I go, these words will never fade Never change and I put that on everything Much lower stress set, which is what I want, right? We're not trying to OD and add stress to the nervous system or the muscles right now Because like I said, that could be counterproductive when in an energy deficit you don't need to go to failure all the time when you're training again with lower calorie. That's just gonna set yourself up for overtraining and to get injured. Save the failure set <coughs> or the majority of your failure set training to when you have a surplus of calories and your recovery is easier to come by. One more round. All right guys, third set, another 20 second hold. We're dropping the push-ups, reps down to 20 now. So 20, 20 for the third set. I just hope before I go I find a way Cause I don't wanna fall Been there before and I've seen it all Come crashing down on me Come crashing down on me
I got three rounds of the dip holds to pushes. Just remember this when you're cutting, like I said in that previous talking clip, don't expect to be putting on muscle or building size or getting bigger. You might start to look bigger as you get leaner because all your muscles that you were working for when you were in that surplus are gonna start revealing. Now, there's another scenario. If you're very overweight and you just started working out, that's when the scenario is when you're gonna start being, when you're gonna be able to lose weight, be in an energy deficit, meaning eating a calorie deficit, and at the same time, put on muscle. Because you're gonna have, if you're a beginner, you're not used to training, everything's gonna be a new stimulus for you. Everything you do is gonna be hard. <coughs> Everything is gonna stimulate muscle growth. So you're gonna be able to lose weight, get leaner, and get more muscle mass at the same time. But once you're you know, seasoned at training and you're generally not that overweight, as you cut down, again, you're gonna be working to reveal what you built when you were in a bulk. I'm gonna do one more pushing exercise today. All right, guys, last exercise of the day for the push workout. I'm actually gonna do back to the wall, handstand hold, just isometric static holds, aiming for three sets of one minute holds, right? I mentioned in the previous video, when you're focusing on, you know, the incline barbell bench press, like I've been doing on my strength-based movements, as well as doing a lot of muscle-ups, the shoulders are gonna get a ton of stimulus, right? So putting in a direct overhead pressing movement right now is gonna take away from my muscle-up training and my incline chest press training, right? Because you can only choose so many strength-based movements and similar movement patterns to focus on in a given session, right? If I start trying to do muscle-ups one day, overhead pressing another day, incline chest press another day, I'm never gonna get the consistency with each movement to train them often. That's why I've been making such good muscle-up progress lately, guys, because consistency. I train the muscle-ups on a pull day, and I'm also training them on a push workout. I'm getting minimum two muscle-up routines in a week. Ideally, it would be three if I could get three full workouts in a week. Training that movement pattern more often throughout the week is gonna give you better results. If I'm only training it one time and then waiting a whole another week to train it again, the results is not gonna be there, right? The same thing like when I was training for my heavy-weighted dips and pulls. It was day on, day off, day on, day off. One day training on, one day training off, back to the next next day of training, same movements. It's that consistency would breed results and gets you better at a movement. So now again, I've been doing handstands for years. I'm not looking to do handstand pushes. I'm not looking, like I said, to build any muscle or strengthen the overhead pressing. I just want to stimulate these shoulders now with these handstand holds. Let's go. Aiming for 60 seconds here. Balance. All right, shoulders are feeling it. 23 in. Keep it filming. We're gonna get this 60 right now. Not happy with that. I wanted 60 straight. But again, these are gonna require. Even though I'm using the wall, I gotta keep everything tense. Nine. One more, 11 second clip right here, guys. And keep it rolling. Alright, guys. holds. I'm not going to film it and that's going to wrap up the routine. I'm going to rest minimum three minutes, maybe five minutes now for that before I do that next hold. 
And again, because I want my shoulders to be fully recovered. That's gonna build endurance. It's gonna build strength. And it's gonna be demanding on the nervous system and the full body. Because like I said, I'm not just letting my body rest on that bar. I'm trying to maintain full body tension, even though I am leaning on the bar, which is taking a little bit of the load off my shoulders. So push focus routines are very simple. Muscle ups, iso dip holds with pushes, and then finishing off with these handstand holds, guys. Try this routine out. Like I said, you do not need to keep trying to break down the muscle and adding more and more volume and breaking down and causing more damage to that muscle when you're in a deficit, it's just gonna set you back. Constantly make progress, stimulate that muscle, feel a good feeling of whatever area you're feeling. And when you feel good in that area, there's no need to keep pushing for more, right? That's just gonna cause more damage. Once you feel you got a nice pump, your chest starting to feel tight, or whatever muscle group, you're starting to feel tight. Start to taper off from there, right? Don't do more, start doing less at that point because you already gave it muscle a nice stimulus. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it, helps the algorithm out. Share it with your friends and your family. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. Let's keep this channel growing, guys. It's summertime, you're gonna be getting a lot more consistent routines out here that you guys will be following along, all body weight style. And like always, guys, if you have a question or comment, leave it in the comment section. I appreciate all the support. Peace out. Bar Naturals. And they all love to talk, you know they do that shit the most. Think you on my level, boy, but you ain't even close.